In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to move and reposition your patterns inside of shapes in Adobe Illustrator. Make sure to watch to the end so you can learn all three. So let's get right into it. Method number one, using object transform. Select the object or the part of the object that's filled with the pattern that you want to move. Go up to the top menu and select object transform move. And this move dialog box will pop up. The first thing you have to do is make sure that only patterns is checked so that only the pattern moves, not the object. And then here, under position, you can input the amount that you want to move the pattern in a horizontal direction and in a vertical direction. So if I type one inch next to horizontal, the pattern will move exactly one inch over to the right. And if I want to move it one inch in the opposite direction, so to the left, I can type negative one inch. Then for the vertical direction, if I type in one inch, the pattern will move down one inch. And if I want the pattern to move in the opposite direction or up, then I'll type in negative one inch. If you don't have a precise amount that you want the pattern to move to, then you can also just click on the horizontal or the vertical box and use the scroll wheel on your mouse to scroll through the numbers until you see the pattern move into the position that you want it to be in. Just make sure that you have preview checks first so that you'll be able to see where the pattern is moving to. And if you like the position, click OK. And you can also pull up the same exact menu by right clicking on your selected object and selecting transform move. Method number two, using the tilde key. Start by selecting the object or the part of the object that's filled with the pattern that you want to move. This time I'll demonstrate on a fashion sketch. So I'm gonna select my front body with the direct selection tool or keyboard shortcut A. Then I'm gonna hold down the tilde key. The tilde key is located on the top left corner of your keyboard next to the number one. It looks like a little wave. Now hold down the tilde key and click and drag your mouse on top of your selected object in the direction that you want the pattern to move. You can move it up, down, left, right, diagonal, any direction that you want, as much as you want. And the pattern will move anywhere that you place it. If you're using a more recent version of Illustrator, you'll be able to see the pattern moving as you drag it around. If you're using an older version of Illustrator, instead, you'll see a rectangle outline appear that's showing you the direction that your pattern is currently being moved to. You won't actually see the move right before your eyes, but you can use this rectangle outline to guide you. And when it looks like it's at the position that you want it to be, release your mouse and the tilde key and you'll see the change in position that you made. This can really come in handy when you're wanting to reposition your pattern but you don't know exactly where you might want it to land. You can always keep moving it until you find the right placement for that situation. And if you want to make a more subtle change to the position of your pattern, you can select your object, hold down the tilde key, and instead of clicking and dragging, you can click on any of the arrow keys on your keyboard to move the pattern in the direction that you want it to go in. This will allow you to move the pattern one click at a time, which can be helpful if you want to make a more subtle change. And now the third method, but real quick, if you want to be a pro at Illustrator, then make sure to hit like and subscribe below. It'll help me to keep bringing you more helpful videos like this. Method number three, using the transform panel. The transform panel can be pulled up by going to the top menu and going to window transform, which will pull up the transform menu. Or by selecting the object first and then going to the control panel and clicking on transform, which will pull up that same panel just up here. So the first thing you have to do is make sure to first click on this stacked menu up here on the top right corner of the panel. Here you have the option to transform object only, transform pattern only, or transform both. You want to make sure that you select transform pattern only. Then you can go over to the X and Y values here. This works similar to the move menu that we discussed earlier. You can either input new values into these boxes to make the pattern move in different directions, or you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to scroll through the numbers until you see the pattern move into the position that you want it to be in. If you want to move the pattern in a horizontal direction, you'll change the numbers in the X value. Increase the numbers to move the pattern over towards the right, and decrease the numbers to move the pattern towards the left. And if you want to move the pattern in a vertical direction, then you'll change the numbers in the Y value. Increase the numbers to move the pattern downwards and decrease the numbers to move the pattern upwards. There's no preview box to check here. It'll just show you in real time where it's moving to. And when you find the right position, just click off the box and your pattern has been repositioned where you want it. Now with this method, I definitely recommend scrolling through the numbers with your mouse wheel rather than inputting numbers because these numbers are a little different than the numbers in the move menu. These X and Y values correspond to where the pattern or object is currently placed on the artboard, kind of like coordinates. 
But for the purpose of what we're doing in this video, we don't need to get into all of that right now. We'll save that for another time. So just scroll through the numbers until you find your desired pattern placement. And I think that looks good here, so I'm done. And if you want to know how to rotate your pattern, make sure you watch the previous video if you haven't already, and also check out the full print pattern playlist for more. See you there!